So what I have here is the last 25 years of the Windows family, and there's actually nine versions of Windows going back 25 years uh, from the first version of Windows in 1990, uh, which is Windows 3.11, uh, all the way to Windows 10, which was uh, released actually just yesterday on uh, October 1st, 2014. And um, I'm, I'm going to go over each one of these briefly uh, just to show you how they've evolved over the last 25 years. So uh, the first one here is actually Windows 3.1.1. And you'll notice uh, Windows 3.1.1 here is fairly bland. Um, there's not much to it. There's MS-DOS. There's a file manager. Uh, curiously, if you look at the games, so if I double click on games here, you'll see there's still Solitaire and Minesweeper, which is, uh, so this came out in 1990, and this particular version, uh, which is Windows 3.1.1, actually came out in 1992. So you'll, you'll see how uh, interesting this is. You, you notice you can minimize it, and you could actually maximize it, um, but there's, there's not much there in, in terms of software. So you, you're probably wondering what exactly can you do with this. Um, so, but at the time this was fairly rev revolutionary uh, because if I exit out of this, you'll see what, what there actually was. So um, in the past there was just a command shell, which was something where you type commands. So if I bring back Windows, uh, you'll notice uh, quickly you saw that Windows 3.1.1 banner there which was the start screen so uh, that's Windows 3.1.1 um, let me go on to the next iteration which was Windows 95 and Windows 95 came out in 1995 um, and you'll notice this was basically the base template for all the other versions of Windows uh, going forward. So you'll notice uh, just right after something that was so primitive uh, f uh, compared to Windows 3.1.1, you'll see the start menu. So this is the start menu that we're all familiar with. And uh, interestingly enough, this came out nearly 20 years ago in 1995. Um, and it, it has really kind of uh, been something that people have held on to, this start menu here. Uh, there's really nothing more to show. If I bring up Windows uh, Explorer here and I show you what the version is, you, you'll see it can't even process the modern day uh, web, web, uh, web pages now. So this was actually version 3.0. So this is one, one of the earliest versions of uh, Internet Explorer here. So that, that's Windows uh, 95, which came out in 1995. Um, the next version here is actually Windows 98, and there wasn't too much of a difference compared to uh, Windows 95. If I bring up Windows 95 again, if if you go to the File Explorer, you, you'll notice um, this is fairly familiar, um, but it's still kind of like a you know it's it's still fairly recognizable uh, but but this was the days where people use modems versus um, a, a, you weren't always on the internet um, so let, let me go on to the next version here where people started using the internet a little bit more so if I bring up um, so this is Windows 98 and you'll notice it has this nice cool uh, Windows 98 banner here the colors are a little bit better um, it was starting to, the, the internet was starting to get fairly popular in 1998, which was when this was released. Um, so you'll notice, once I bring up Internet Explorer, it's actually prompting me to sign up for um, a, um, so, so you, 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 that, that's actually a little bit funny here because it's actually prompting me, interestingly enough for uh, connecting to a modem. So it doesn't detect the modem, I'll select from a list, I'll just hit cancel here. Um, so I can't even bring up the browser and show you what version it is unfortunately because, um, let's see, 
yeah, it's, it's trying to, okay, if I say don't detect the modem. So it's interesting to see what it's doing here. Say cancel, and it won't let me get by, which is fine. Um, so there wasn't anything too interesting with Windows 98. For the most part, it looks a lot like Windows 95. Uh, the next iteration is Windows ME, which is the Windows Millennium version, which came out in uh, uh, 2000. Uh, let me just uh, get the screensavers out of this. So, so this is Windows Millennium, which came out in 2000. Um, again, it's very similar, but one of the things you'll notice compared to the others is um, this is the turn of the century. And you'll notice it becomes a little bit more multimedia driven. Um, and oh, I, what, one of the things to note about Windows 98, however, is that it does start getting the web look and feel. So you'll you'll notice even with a, some of the Windows Explorer, it it has the. Um, it actually has a more internet type of look and feel to it. So that's when it first started even with Win uh, Windows Explorer. So if I go back to Windows ME here, Windows ME was when it started getting uh, a, when multimedia like uh, videos and music started becoming a little bit more popular on computers which wasn't always the case. Um, so th this wasn't actually too far too far, uh, it was uh, in the year 2000. So if I play one of these, if if I play uh, one of one of these uh, music files, this might look a little bit familiar to you. So it, it, it's interesting to, uh, for nostalgia purposes, to just look at it. Um, so that's Windows ME. And the next version that came out after Windows ME was the beloved uh, Windows XP. So if I go to Windows XP, um, everybody remembers this background here from Windows XP, which is some very landscapey, uh, cloudish thing, which uh, back then was fairly popular. and. People remember the drastic change with uh, the color scheme of the start menu. So this is Windows XP. And if, if I open up Internet Explorer, you notice the version for Internet Explorer here is uh, version 6 for XP. So the next iteration was actually uh, the thing that was a bomb, which was uh, Vista. So let me show you Vista here as the next version. So this is Vista, and what Vista introduced was these gadgets. So there's a bunch of gadgets here that people thought would be popular, um, but they actually never caught on. And this background might look a little bit familiar to everybody. There is a little change in the start menu. So it looks a little bit cooler, but for whatever reason, it never caught on. People didn't like it. Um, or maybe they just didn't think it was uh, all that different from Windows X XP. So this is Windows Vista. And the next version, because people were not too thrilled about Windows Vista, the next version was actually Windows 7. So Windows 7 is... Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go over this too much. Uh, the, the gadgets still persisted. Um, and, you know, people recognize this background. It looks kind of cool. And uh, it was simplified compared to uh, Windows Vista. Um, but this is the operating system which uh, came out actually in 2009. Uh, Windows Vista. So Windows Vista here. Um, Windows Vista here came out in 2006 and Windows XP in 2001 actually. So Windows XP was one of the longest lived uh, operating systems uh, which lasted five years before they came out with 
uh, this version of uh, Windows Vista. So that, that was a very long gap in comparison to all the other iterations. So here's Windows 7. And Windows 7 is, uh, the, again, the operating system that most of us still have because, uh, you know, we, we love using this uh, in comparison to this one, which is Windows 8. So Windows 8 was when it got really funky, um, was when you, you push the start menu and uh, it, the, there was a bunch of apps that came up and... Uh, you know, this, this is where your apps were, but your desktop was gone and it was very inconvenient. Um, and, you know, pe it, it, it was very difficult for people to figure out exactly how to get back to the desktop. Um, and it had these funky uh, things where you hover over the corner and that's where you find the shutdown button. Of course, I have here Windows 8.8, .8, which is, uh, I, I mean Windows 8.1, which is a little bit better because it at least has um, the, the uh, shutdown button here. So, um, but in any case, uh, this was Windows 8.1, which was the version that people didn't like because the beloved um, start menu was missing from this. So this is Windows 8.1 and originally the next iteration uh, is Windows 9 but for whatever reason they decided to skip the Windows 9 moniker and uh, actually uh, name it Windows 10. So this is Windows 10 and they brought back the start menu and the start menu has these live tiles um, so it sort of integrates in uh, kind of like the tablet and phone look and feel which was what they were trying to drive at with Windows 8 so the reason why this has these tiles was because they wanted one unified look and feel between their tablets between their phones and between um, kind of uh, you know the desktop and if if you look at the version of IE here. This version of IE is actually 11 and this version of IE is actually also 11 for Windows 10 here. So what one of the special things about Windows 10 is there is this icon here that allows you to toggle. Of course you could use hotkeys but one thing that is different that's added into Windows is these uh, concept of virtual desktops so I could add a desktop here and so here I have two desktops where I can flip back and forth between the desktops so this is one of the desktops and this is a second desktop that I have blank which I've uh, opened Chrome so you'll see I could flip back and forth between the multiple desktops that I've set up or I could add a third or fourth or I could uh, delete them so this is the newest for new version that was uh, new functionality that was introduced into Windows 10 here um, but for the most part a lot of things look very familiar Um, so let me go back here and compare and contrast this latest Windows 10 version with uh, the oldest version, which is Windows 3.1.1 here. So it's interesting to see these side by side. Um, but there you go, that's uh, the 25 years of Windows. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching.